All right, so let me quickly explain to you the difference between raster images and vector graphics. Any picture you have taken with your camera or with your phone or scanned in, those are raster images. They are made up of thousands of little tiny pixels that make up the colors. And to better see those, we have to zoom in. So let's zoom in right here. And you can see all those tiny, tiny little pixels. Do you see that? All those little tiny squares are called pixels. So that's a raster image. It is made up of little tiny pixels. Now, a vector image, on the other hand, is made up of lines and shapes. And I took this image and I vectorized it. And now you can see this one doesn't have any of those little tiny pixels. It just has lines and you can click on them and you can move them around. You can change the shape. You can change the color super easily. You can put them on top of each other. You can move them around. You can do so much. You can just grab it and move it and change your whole layout, change your whole shape. Um, so you can do a lot with vectors and it is basically scalable to infinity. So if you take this little tiny picture and enlarge it as a vector graphic, you can enlarge it to billboard size and it will not lose quality. It will be that crisp. Whereas this little one, which is right now about 10 by 10 inches, if you enlarge it, even just double the size, it will get very fuzzy and very pixelated and just very um, crappy looking. We don't want that with our lettering or with our prints that we're selling to our customers. So what you wanna do with your lettering, if you want to create prints, t-shirts, logos, any type of graphic, um, you need to vectorize your lettering so that you can have the option of the scalability and just so many other options you can do with vector images. All right, guys, so that is the easiest and quickest way I can explain to you the difference between raster and vector. And I'm just gonna show you a couple examples of what I usually use vectors for. And that is just to create graphics for my website, for my courses, and basically anything I need to work on. So here I was creating the graphics for my lettering course um, for Illustrator and Photoshop. And I needed a little, you know, a little graphic to promote my course and basically for the course website. And I wanted it to be hand lettered. And the only way to do that was to hand letter it right here on a little scrap of piece of paper I found by my desk. So I just quickly lettered it, took a picture kind of like this one. I am not sure if it was exactly this one but um, it might have been more straight on top instead of from an angle. But it was a picture that I took of this little lettering piece right here, which I just scribbled on the back of one of some note card or something. Um, and I just took a photo, put it into Photoshop. I deleted the background and I just left the white piece of paper. Then I put it into Illustrator, vectorized it, and now you can see it all over my course websites. And it's a nice graphic that I can put um, I can make bigger, I can make smaller, I can put on a business card, I can put on a poster, and my sizes are not limited and I can do a lot with it super quickly. So that's it. I hope this explains what vector versus raster is. If you have any other questions regarding this topic, please comment below and let me know so that I can create a better video for you guys if you still don't get it. But if you understand it, if you wanna learn more, please go ahead and take my course on Illustrator, which will teach you all about vector art and vectorizing your lettering. On the other hand, if you like the raster look and you don't have a need for vectorizing your lettering or scaling it up, um, you can always take my Photoshop course and learn all about Photoshop. All right then, bye-bye.